Hello and welcome to another Raising Transfer Fund special. My name is Craig and coming up in today's video, we take over another club in Football Manager 21 and attempt to raise as much transfer funds as possible over the first transfer window of the summer. As you can see on the screen right now, we've chosen to take over Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga in Germany. Really there's a couple of reasons for why I chose them. First of all, Dortmund do have a number of good players, even those on the fringes who you could potentially sell for decent money. And secondly of all, I chose them because I just wanted to go somewhere different from the Premier League. And Dortmund is a club who not only have I actually gone to see previously, hence the scarves. Also, they're actually kind of my favourite team outside of England as well, to be honest with you. They're always a team that kind of, I hope, beats Bayern Munich to the title every season even though they haven't since the Klopp days. So let's see if we can raise them a bit more in transfer funds to help them do that. So, before we take a look at the squads, uh, take a look at the transfer budget, we can see we have a starting transfer budget of £9.1 million. Pounds. I've, I've just left it in pounds purely for convenience for myself. I don't normally deal in euros or dollars. And the wage budget, we're currently underneath at the moment. Judging by that, it's about 60,000. Yeah, roughly 60,000 spare on the wage budget. So that is our starting point before we've even sold anybody. Now, having a look at the squad, I have already had a quick look around just to see who the best players are. And obviously you expect the likes of Mats Hummels, Erling Haaland, Marco Royce. Guerrero is supposedly better than uh, Jadon Sancho, that's kind of interesting. But they're not the players I'm looking to get rid of, unless they really want to leave. If they do, then fine, we'll just sell them on. But it's more the players who are not only that good for this team, but also they don't really have that much potential, or they're kind of ageing. So in the case of, for example, Marcel Schmelzer, 32 years old, he's two star, he's not really going to improve. He's still worth £1.6 million. So he could be a very good option. In fact, he's 32. How many players do we have over 30? Quite a few, actually. Piszczek is 35, and he's still half decent, the team. Uh, Hommels, Fitzel, Royce are all in their 30s. These are first team players, crikey. They don't have as many young players as I thought they did, to be honest, Dortmund. Obviously, you expect the lights of Rayner. Um, Bellingham, Haaland and Sancho of course to be in there, they're the ones that we know about Zagadou, I had him at Arsenal in FM20 I think there's potential here, players to sell Marcel Schmelzer I think we could definitely try and sell on uh, Matthew Mori potentially Paslak and Marvin Hitz I definitely think these are guys. Uh, Rainier's on loan, hence the blue. Oh, Nico Schultz. He might be a potential one that we could sell on. Possibly Piszczek. I might try and sell him on, see if we can get probably a million for him. So what I'm going to do for these players and any others who I feel are surplus to requirements or could be improved upon in this team, I'm going to offer them out. In fact, I'll, give, I'll do an example. So, so Marshall, Marcel Schmelzer, offer to club. And he's worth apparently 1.6 million pounds. So you know what? We're going to start with that value. 1.6 million. We're going to take off the selling team contrib wage contribution. Or from to clubs. I'm going to do the same for several other players. And when we get any offers, we will come back and see if we can try and raise that a little bit more. And try and get some offers in from other clubs. We'll explain the process anyway as we go along. Unless you've seen any of my previous videos, the likes of Arsenal, Everton and Leicester. If you haven't, after this video, go back and watch those as well, uh, if you wish, and just see how I did with them. Compare, effectively, how I do at each club. The results have been quite mixed, but they've also been very good. Transfer funds have been raised every single time. Let's hope we can keep the trend up. So I've offered out eight of our players, and we've already had offers back for four of them so far. So first up, we've had offer for Marvin Hitz from Real Madrid, of all teams, who have offered the exact value of our experienced goalkeeper, 32 years of age, just felt we could probably get a younger, just as good replacement with some potential. So we are going to accept this offer and we are now going to offer him out again and just see, can we get a little bit more for him? 
So let's say 4.2 million. And I'm going to be doing this for effectively all the players who we've had offers for, just to see if we can squeeze a little more money out of them. Uh, Nico Ho uh, sorry, Nico Schultz, 27-year-old fullback. Uh, Leon have come back with an offer of 7.75 million, which meets, matches his value. We're going to accept that, and again, offer him out. Uh, let's go 8.25. We're not going to go too high and try and put other teams off. Who's this? Mamouz Dahoud, a 24-year-old central midfielder, 12.25 million pound offer from Wolves, who seem to offer a lot for my players. They did the same when I was Ars when with Arsenal in FM20. Let's go 13 million. And I remember for Callum Chambers when I was at Arsenal, they offered 40 million, which I snapped their hands off for. And finally, we have three offers for Delaney, for Thomas Delaney. Who ever heard that name before? Did he have a brother or a dad who used to play for an, for an English team? Matthias Jorgensen, Mike Jensen. I feel like Thomas Delaney I've heard of before. I thought he used to play in England. Anyway, 28 year old uh, defensive midfielder and central midfielder. Uh, he's worth 18.25 million. PSG have come back 15 million. We're going to accept that offer and rejects the Man City Chelsea offers. No, we're going to accept. We're going to accept the PSG and reject Man City. And what we're going to do? That's quite an elite number of clubs who are in for him. I was confused by what was happening there for a moment, but we just want to reject the other two offers. Let's see if they're willing to pay a little bit more. Let's go 17 million. We're going to hit continue one time. Oh, here we go. Uh, 4.6 million for what's this? Compensation payments. How much is he worth? 7.75. So he wants 7.75. Oh, sorry, he wants 4.6 out of that. Let's so, let's see if we can lower that. So, all right, they've agreed 4.2. Fine, as long as it just gets him off the books. I mean, how much is he earning a week? 105k, yeah, but he, he, just get him off the books. Uh, Manchester City have come back for Delaney. Tw get lost with that bid. Absolutely get lost. 17 million. That's all I'm asking. He's worth 18, for goodness sake. Let's just see if anybody comes back. Oh. Another offer. They're offering 12.75 million again. Is there any clauses on that? No. We'll come back when when a player is either sold or a mega offer comes in because Manchester City are trying my patience at this point. We're not selling him for 12.75, not unless uh, PSG or Delaney cancel the deal themselves. Well I didn't even need to confirm this transfer but the first player has gone already. We've only, we've only been in this for what four or five days. Marvin Hitz has left the Real Madrid 3.8 million pounds of which 3.7 million has been added. Uh, so that should give us 12.9 million pounds. Not too bad, it's not a bad start. Could easily reinvest that in a couple of young players which for anyone not familiar with the club vision for Borussia Dortmund they demand that you sign young players. They will kind of judge you on it. It's preferred, especially under 18s, uh, under 23s. That's actually a requirement. So yes, yes, you will be required to reinvest this money in under 23s. Not such a bad thing. I think the majority of us do anyway, unless people like going for the more experienced players. Uh, more annoyingly, De Hood has rejected the contract offer from Wolves, which means I've now got to offer him out again, which I actually haven't done. Uh, let's see, 13 million pounds. So Wolves were willing to pay him before. Oh, sorry, were willing to pay that before. Uh, currently, other transfers that are ongoing. Marvin Hitz is going to join on the 4th of the 8th. Really? He's joining in a month? Whatever, he's going. Uh, Matthew Mori could be going to Hertha Berlin for 230,000. Nico Schultz is mulling over a contract offer from 
Olympic Lyon in France. Thomas Delaney, we've had no other offers for him so far. We're just waiting for PSG to come back. Still that offer of £15 million on the table. To who I've just offered out again. And that is a just, just a random loan, to be honest with you. Uh, let's just see. Yep, confirm. That's now confirmation. Yep, Matsu Mori is going to her. That's 230000 in the bank. Has that updated? 13.1. The numbers just keep rising. The numbers just keep rising. Bear in mind, of course, um, or in mind, obviously, at the end as well. As you get this money in, chances are you would probably just be reinvestigating some more players anyway. I'm not going to do that for this experiment anyway. This is more just to see how much transfer budget could we actually raise in our first summer if you were taking over this club for a longer term save. So just see it as a little preview if you wish, some players who you may wish to get rid of, uh, get rid of some you might have kept around instead. Let's see who else we can ship out this summer. Another one out the door, Thomas Delaney is going to PSG for £15 million. It is less than what he is well, effectively worth or what we would have paid for him. But to be honest with you, nobody was biting at £8.75 million. In fact, we've actually sold him for a loss. A small loss, but it's a bit of a shame. But Manchester City, Chelsea, they weren't willing to go to close to £18 million or even £17 million, So. PSG got him first, £15 million, he is gone. So that adds in £12 million to the kitty. And excuse me? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happened to all the money? There's no no transfers have been made. It was 13 million. What happened to it? I'm a little confused. Okay, he's going out on loan. Fine. But what happened to the money? Oh, here we go. Right. That still seems less than what it was. 12 million was going to be added, so that should have been 25 million. That makes no sense. No other transfers have happened. No one else has come in. These all happened before I even joined the club. Then again, they hasn't confirmed Delaney leaving anyway. Okay, this might be something that will just go up and down as we go through the summer. Uh, if I find out what happens, then... I'll let you know. Well, it's been almost a month now, and we've actually had no action thus far. We've had a numerous amount of offers for players, including the likes of Rafael Guerrero, and now Thorgan Hazard. I was about to say Eden Hazard for a moment. Wrong Hazard. Um, yeah, Rafael Guerrero rejected a contract offer from, I believe it was Wolves. Uh, now he's injured, only for a few days, but that's just kind of put paid to any offers that we've made for him very, very soon. Interestingly though, Manchester United and Juventus now want Thorgan Hazard. I did put a £30 million price tag on him. They're only offering £18 million, so I'm just going to see. Can we just drag them up a little bit? If we reject the £17 million from United and accept £18 million from Juventus, what we're going to do is we're going to offer him up a little bit more. So, they're offering £17, £18 million, sorry for him. Let's see if we can drag him up to 20 million. Oh, right, yeah, I promised I wouldn't sell him. Oh, well, you know what? If he's considering his next move, that's fine. He's 27 years old. I don't think he's even going to get... He wouldn't even get in the team anyway. No, he's behind Royce, Sancho and Brandt as a winger. So he's not even going... And he's about the same as Guerrero. So if we kept Guerrero, Hazard could go. He requires a payoff. 8.75 million! Are you mad? I should have gone lower than that. Right, Manchester United have offered 20 million, so we're going to go in and we're going to reject that 18 million. 20 million now sits on the table. Let's see if we can drag them up a little bit more. 22 million. They're, they're cancelling the Juventus deal. 
Yeah, that's fine. If your deal amounts into 21 million, would be the absolute minimum. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay, because you've entered made another offer. Alright, so Manchester United are offering 20 million. Board, just accept it. It's only £1 million less than what you're asking for. You don't really need it to go much higher than that. I mean, that's what we're trying to do. But this is what I found with raising transfer funds. Uh, the boards just keep interfering. And they say, oh no, we want this much money. Where, as everybody else is thinking, well no, the value should be like half of that. We'll see what they come back with anyway. If anyone wants him for 22 million, they can have him. Well, the board thankfully decided not to interfere anymore in the transfer of Thorgan Hazard. 20 million pounds, it is less than the supposed value of him at 29 million. I mean, that's apparently what we would pay for him, but if we could just have a look. Yeah, we paid 23 million pounds for Hazard. He was a regular last season. But with the money that we're raising through the transfers this summer, we could easily reinvest that in, into a player who could potentially be as good as him. I mean, he's three and a half stars, and to be honest with you, at 27 years old, we could probably get someone just as good as him. Younger, if we were going to buy anyone, that is. So we're going to accept that transfer. £20 million. I don't know why I'm making a... I don't know why I'm making a parting comment to him. I've literally just joined the club. So that should come through as a confirmation. We'll just quickly check the finances. How much transfer budget have you raised? Um, I've already started adjusting the transfer budget for, and the wage budget accordingly. So it looks like we got more. In fact, we do have more in terms of transfer budget, which is always a good thing. So £20 million. Pounds, and that means we now have a whopping... 53 million to play with so far. What's even better as well, next season's minimum guaranteed budget will be £45 million. Pounds. I think that's a very good starting point for Dortmund, especially as they want young players who are going to be fairly cheap. What's that, a good two, three, four players though? We're making some decent profit here. And on top of that, we've got 156000 in the wage budget. We've got about just under a month to go until the first cup game effectively as in when the start of the season would actually happen so we're going to go up to there we'll see if we can get any more players out in that time and so with just one week remaining before the first game AS Roma are buying Mahmoud Dahoud who we've been trying to offer out all summer but nobody's really been coming in with offers for him certainly no offers worth selling him for he's only 24 years old yes he's worth 12.25 uh, as per our club we're selling him for £11.75 million pounds. and more than likely that will be the last player who will leave the club. The boards have agreed to give us I believe £9.5 million, <clears throat> which means our transfer budget is now £63.1 million. Pounds. That is insane amounts and with 231000 left in the wage budget so definitely plenty of room to just sort of play around with that. So if we raised it to £71.8 million transfer budget, we still have 63000 wage budget. But realistically, we'll take that down one notch. £64 million, yeah, £214,000 in the wage budget. And to be honest with you, I think that will probably be the last bit of transfer action that we'll see this summer. I'll give it a few more days just in, in case any more offers come in. But the next time you see me, chances are I'll just be wrapping it up, to be honest. And just as I predicted, there were no further offers for any of our players. So, overall, 50... It was 63 million. Now it's 60... Sorry, 53 million. Where's the money going? If I put it back up to 61 million, what's the wage budget going to be like? Okay, so overall then... We'll just go with that. £61.2 million pounds, uh, transfer budget. So overall we've raised around £52 because we started with £9 million. And we've still got 63000 in wage budget per week. Of course you could easily just adjust this as possible. So £50 to £60 million. Pounds. I don't think that's too bad. Obviously as the money comes in over the summer you would more than likely just reinvest it in better players to be honest. 
so hopefully you would have those already scouted throughout the summer. Uh, we have reached the start of the season, so this would be the point now that your whole new team, if depending how many players you've actually sold, I've just given an example of how many you could actually sell and the sort of fees that you could potentially get for them, unless you happen to do better than me, in which case, fair enough. I've only just joined, at the end of the day, you've only just joined the club. You don't know exactly who's going to be able to buy what, especially as it's going to be 2020. So the clubs are going to be very wary about buying players outright for a huge amount of money. Loan to buy is a huge, huge feature for FM21, and I would certainly recommend this. I didn't use it for this uh, experiment or for any of these series of raising transfer funds because we wouldn't actually see the benefit of any money and any transfer budget being built up right now. So, just as a quick summary, uh, Omer Toprak was, had already gone, he's not our sale, so everyone from Mathieu Mori down, so Mathieu Mori went for £230,000 to Hertha Berlin, North Rachel and Schmelzer, who we did try to get rid of but nobody was buying, they've all gone out on loan with fees attached. Uh, fee these fees are actually very good, especially if... Uh, clubs are not willing to pay any wage contribution, they'd rather just pay it probably out of the transfer budget. That's a nice little tip going forward as well, if you wish to bring any players in on loan but not pay any wage budget, just use the transfer. Clubs will usually accept the transfer fee, uh, sorry, the loan fee, in place of an actual wage uh, contribution. Uh, Marvin Hitz went to Real Madrid for £3.8 million, pounds. they weren't willing to really negotiate any higher. Thomas Delaney, £15 million pounds to uh, PSG, a bit of a loss, but overall, and yes he's an elite striker by the way, I, uh, sorry, elite midfielder, sorry, he's an elite midfielder, but again the money that we bring in could buy a younger replacement which would help towards your club vision, he's 29 years old, to be honest you could effectively either try and get more for him keep him or just try and cash in at whatever price. I cashed in at 15 million but whatever. Thorgan Hazard to Manchester United for 20 million pounds considering the board weren't willing to take less than 21 million. I'm glad they just settled on the 20 million in the end. No one was going to pay 30. In fact no one did pay 30. That's what I originally offered him out as. Uh, at. Mahmoud Dahoud last minute sale into AS Roma 11.75 million Pounds. Uh, tried to get, uh, tried to get him offered out all summer. Nobody was buying. The fact Roma just came in and said, "Yeah, we'll have him." Okay, that's fine. Again, I believe he's about twenty-four. Yeah, twenty-four year old. He's an under twenty-one international, but he's never been capped at German level. Again, it's a case of I feel we could get someone in younger who is potentially better or who will potentially be better. So a lot of these were fringe players. I think the only real first team players we sold were Delaney and Hazard. In fact, was Hazard a first team player? Yeah, he was in his one season here. That's fine. I think Delaney was the only other one. In fact, no, he, he was first team player a couple of seasons ago, but he dropped out completely. I don't know if that was due to injury or whatever. But it seems we might have just cashed in on him at the right time. 29 years old, even if he had an injury. £15 million pounds is not a bad fee to get for him. But that will be the... In fact, let me just leave it on the finances screen just so you see how much transfer budget we have. £61 million pounds this summer we could have spent. £45 million pound guaranteed for next season. Absolutely amazing stuff. Really good transfer budget. Borussia Dortmund is definitely a team I would recommend having a look at and managing. One of the best teams in the Bundesliga, a lot of money and a lot of great young players to boot. But I hope you've enjoyed that. Hit the like button and click subscribe down below for more Football Manager content. I'm also uh, streaming on Twitch. My link will be in the bio just, be just below the video. And I hope to see you on stream very, very soon. If you're watching this on the day it comes out, I am streaming that weekend. If you're watching this in the future, there'll be other streams to look forward to anyway. Or you've got the VODs on the Twitch channel anyway that you can go back and watch. But I really hope you've enjoyed this. Stay safe out there, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.